Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. Let's get right to the action. The Michigan Tech Huskies hosting Minnesota State again tonight to wrap up the Winter Carnival Series. So to the MAC we go. Now here's a look at the Huskies breaking it down, hoping for night two of a win to earn a couple more CCHA points. They got a 3-1 win last night. Now after a quick deflect from Blake Pietro, Brian Karab swoops in and finds his seventh goal of the season. Mavs up by one halfway into the first. But the Huskies Comeback shot from Tyrone Bront, right past goalie Alex Tracy's shoulder, and we're tied at one headed into the second period. Second period, quick pass from Evan Murr to Sam Morton, who slips it into the net, and Mavs take the 2-1 lead. A quick goal again from Caden Bolson, but the play under review before it's decided that they'll keep their lead 3-1. Now right off the faceoff, Marcus Peterson scores a Husky goal and improves their chances but a late third period goal made by Bolson in after the Huskies leave an empty net. The Mavericks will head back to Minnesota with a 4-2 win. Here's head coach for the Huskies, Joe Sean. I thought we played two pretty good periods. I thought we played one absolutely horrendous period uh, where we, and that cost us hockey game. We didn't compete. Uh, we didn't play with any skill. We didn't play with any energy. You know, both goals they got, they had, you know, you could have measured the time the guy had the puck in, you know, on the half wall with sundial. Well, the Huskies now prepare to head to Bowling Green for next week's matchup against the Falcons. But back in Marquette, it's the Wildcats closing out their weekend on the ice with the Bemidji State Beavers. Benny Halas back in between the pipes for the Wildcats. Now a scoreless first period, but in the second, Aiden Gallagher feeds Michael Messick. He skates, shoots, it's blocked. Grant Slikinski shoots, it's blocked. But finally, Messick back to Slikinski, and the upper 90 lights the lamp. Wildcats lead one to nothing. Now that lead does not stay. Just five minutes later, Carter Jones sends it into the slot, and Adam Flamang sends it home, evening things up at one goal apiece. But back to the Wildcats now. Coming up on a power play, Kevin Marks Noren cross ice to Michael Messick. He sends it into the slot, and Artem Schlein puts it home. The Cats back on top, two to one. But the Beavers would flip the score in the third, going up three two. But with under 10 minutes to play, the Wildcats answer. Mikey Colella to Andre Gontus. He lights the lamp. We're tied 3-3. Gontus records his 150th career point as a Wildcat. No goals in the rest of the third and no goals in overtime. So we head to the shootout. It's the Beavers' Eric Martin who skates and goes top shelf past Benny Halaz, giving the Beavers the advantage. Now the Wildcats down to their last skater, Mikey Colella. But he's met at the net by Matea Scholl, who has the save, and the Beavers take the shootout and the extra CCHA point. Here's head coach Grant Petoni. We live in a results-based business, and, and, and that's a fact. But as a team, we have to live in a process-based world. So the, the re repeatable success, things we talked about last night. When you hold a team to, to 15 shots and you get 30, most nights you're going to win that game. Um, and tonight just, it didn't happen. Well, the Cats now have a week off before heading to Big Rapids to take on the Ferris State Bulldogs on February 23rd and 24th. Elsewhere in the CCHA tonight, Bowling Green picks up a win over Lake Superior State 4-2, to two, and Augustana downs the Tommies 2-1. to one. In high school hockey as well, Traverse City picks up a win over Manistique, and Jeffers gets the win over over Gladwin, your final score in that one, 6-3. It was a good one.